that is basically my everyday makeup routine. If you're gonna make chocolate chip cookies, don't make any other recipe, I swear. That was the first time that I had ever been to Walmart that I actually gained money and didn't spend any. Hello you guys, what is up? So for today's video, it is Monday. I'm gonna be vlogging. It is the 15th, which means it is two days away from my birthday, which means it's my birthday week, okay? I do not like celebrating birthdays for one day anymore. We get the whole week. You were birthed on this day. So why would you celebrate that for one day? You have to celebrate your new age, your new chapter of life, your new year. So that is what we're doing, okay? You might think that's really extra, but I don't think so. I realized I never show you guys like my makeup routine. That's why this is like at a kind of like a weird angle right now. Just started to do my makeup and I'm like, why don't I just turn on the camera now and show them? Because usually I turn on the camera just after I'm all ready. So I decided to show you guys like what I do for my makeup, my everyday makeup routine when I do wear makeup. So I already did start one thing before I like thought of actually starting the video. So the first thing that I do is I apply this Sunbum Mineral Tinted Face Lotion. This has 30 SPF. What I did is I took this brush and then I just you know. Okay, so then now I'm just gonna wet a beauty blender. Then I take the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and this is in the shade Nude. Okay, so what I do is I'll put this like on my nose. It's like a highlighting point and then I'll go my chin and then i'll literally just put it on the outer like edges of my eyes just to make that like lift up and then do the same thing on the other side so that's the concealer that i put on and then i'll take my beauty blender and blend it in and then i'll just take like the leftover concealer that i have on my beauty blender and like bring it up to my forehead so now that that is all blended in, I go in with the L'Oreal True Match Crayon Corrector. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll like contour with this or bronze or whatever. And I'll go like that, make like a line, a harsh line. And then I'll put some on my forehead, like on the top there. And then on the other side, and then the same thing here. And then I'll take a brush and blend this out like upwards type of thing. So after I brush it out, I beauty blend it out just because I want to make sure that everything is like smoothly blended in, you know what I'm saying? And going in with the beauty blender just puts my mind at ease. And then if I want a little more, I'll just go in, put a tiny bit more just to amp it up a little bit. Okay, so now I go straight into my eyebrows. Well, not straight into them, I kind of prep them. So what I do is I like to do soap brows. So I'll wet my spoolie a bit and then I have just like regular Dove soap here. And I'll like like rub my spoolie on it and then I just like brush my eyebrows through and make them stick the way that I want them to stay so now I just leave my eyebrows dry I don't do anything to them I move on to my eyes and then I'm gonna go back to my eyebrows I'm also not done with my face yet so don't worry I just I like doing things in a really weird order okay so now what I do is I take this really old eyeshadow palette that I think it was my mom's and I've had it for years I don't actually use it for eyeshadow but what I do is I'll take the dark brown that's in here and then I'll take like a angled brush and go in like that and then I like to create like a little bit of an eyeliner like an eyeshadow eyeliner just like very subtle if that makes sense I don't like to do anything dramatic and then I'll kind of like beauty blend it out if that makes sense I just make sure that they're even enough so that's what that looks like and I'll go back to my eyebrows and I'll go in with like a pomade dip I used to have like a pencil that I liked better but it broke so now I'm just using this until I get a new pencil and I just go really lightly I just kind of accentuate them a tiny bit like that's literally all that I do okay so now what I'll do before I do my mascara is I'll take this blush and this is the Morphe X Maddie Ziegler blush so I'll take that with my finger and then I will put that where you're supposed to put blush so like there. Blush is a game changer. Like, I'm not even joking you. I never used to wear blush. And then my friend Julia was like, Michaela, you should start wearing blush. So then I tried it and I'm like, this is game changing. I don't know how I never used to wear it. I really don't know how. And then what I'll do is I'll take like a brush kind of like this and then just brush it in. I can also like use my fingers. This blends in really nicely either way I do it. And then what I'll do is I'll take a tiny bit and then like kind of try and bring it up just like a little bit here. Just kind of put it all over my face. So that is what I do for the blush. And then last or second to last step, I will take my eyelash curler and my mascara. And then I will obviously curl my eyelashes. This is the best eyelash curler you can ever get. It's the Tweezerman eyelash curler. And you guys, you won't regret it if you get this eyelash curler. It's literally the best. 
best thing ever. And then now I'm just gonna go in with mascara. I use the L'Oreal Telescopic. All I really like to do is apply it to like the tips very lightly. All right, so the last thing I'll do is I will go in with a lip liner. This is a CoverGirl one, and I don't really like the shade of this. I got it just because I lost my other ones. It's just too close to like the shade of my lips that it doesn't really like do anything. I don't know why I have like three lip liners and I lost them all because I bring them with me everywhere that I go and then I just lose them. Okay, and then the last, last, last thing that I do is I'll take like this Vaseline balm that I've talked about before and then I'll literally just like dab this where I would put highlight and then it's like such a natural highlight. So if I see that I'm getting a little oily, I'll just go and like apply some translucent powder like around my nose area. But when I just do my makeup, I don't really like to apply any just because my face does get really dry. So that is basically my everyday makeup routine. So I just wanted to like include this in the vlog because I don't think I've ever shown you guys a makeup tutorial before. I've shown you a skincare routine, but never a makeup tutorial. So this was fun. Oh, I don't really have many plans for today. Day. I'm just gonna be vlogging. I need to go out to return something. I do need to sit down and do some work But yeah, other than that, I don't really have like many solid plans for the day So I'm just gonna take you guys along like usual. I'm so excited to hang out with you guys today. It's my birthday week Okay, so we have a few things to get done today. So here is the itinerary. Today, we need to finish two thumbnails for my vlogs that are going up this week because I'm a little behind on the thumbnail making. So I need to take some pictures for that and edit that. So that's gonna be the first thing that I wanna get done today. And then I need to do some work like for my editing job. And then I need to finish filming this vlog. I need to do some type of workout. We're thinking of maybe going on like a hike today because it's such a beautiful day. And then I got to turn something from Walmart. So a lot to do. But we going to get this done. Today is going to be an amazing day. And it is a literal beautiful day. So I'm so happy. I'm such in a good mood. It's my birthday week. Starting it off right. Joel's just doing his hair. And then we're going to go start making the thumbnails. I'll give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes. Like taking the pictures for that. It'll be kind of funny. We finally got a thumbnail. It's kind of funny because the thumbnail is almost the most important part of part of your video because if the thumbnail's not good, then people aren't gonna click on it. So it's like literally almost the most important part, which means that like I need my thumbnails to be perfect. And if they're not perfect, then I need to do it until it's perfect because it's so crucial that you have a good thumbnail. So struggle is real, it really is. I have tea for you, okay? So literally this is the best chocolate chip cookie recipe of all time. Like I'm not not even joking you okay so basically I made cookies like two nights ago and I literally ate them all like I'm not even joking you yesterday I didn't even have one proper meal actually I had one proper meal and that was only dinner but for the rest of the day like for breakfast and lunch I had cookies oh if you're gonna make chocolate chip cookies don't make any other recipe I swear so this is the recipe on the on the chip it's chocolate chip bag like the milk chocolate ones nothing can ever beat these cookies like I swear to you nothing can beat them I'll put the recipe on the screen for you. You're very welcome in advance. Also, I've been making these super healthy peanut butter bars that are so good as well, and they're so easy to make. I'll actually, if I make them tonight, I'll show you guys in the vlog. If not, I'll show you guys how to make them soon. There's only like two, two cookies left because I literally have been eating them all. They're just so addictive. So this is like a warning too. Be careful because they're addictive, but so good. Oh, hey guys, so it is currently like 2 30 almost 3 and I just did some work on the thumbnails and just did some work in general And it is such a beautiful day outside So since we have time today me and Joel were like, why don't we do some sort of hike or something and take advantage of the sunny weather Because it's just so beautiful like when the Sun comes out you got to go out So we're gonna do a little hike We're just gonna get out of the house to go do that and also get like a little bit of a workout in so that's gonna be really nice And on the way to that I'm gonna like bring the thing that I want to return from Wal to Walmart I found these really cute kind of like jean kind of khakis at Walmart and they're like brown I knew that they were gonna be big on me since they are men's but I didn't know how big so I just bought them and I'm like you know what if they're too big I'm just gonna return them and they are sadly too big and they didn't have a size smaller so I gotta return those and then we're gonna go on a hike so I'm just gonna get changed now out of my PJs and hike it up my room is a mess once again so do not mind that but here's my going outfit yay 
I literally am non stop wearing this sweater, but I just can't. I'm addicted. Hi, can I please get a medium caramel iced coffee with almond milk? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You too. I literally forgot to make a coffee today. I was gonna go for the Starbucks, but then Tim Hortons is literally like half the price, so it's like whatever. I just love having like a drink, like whether it be like a matcha, a coffee, or whatever. I just like having a drink in the day, you know? It's just fun. We're still on the way to Walmart, and I'm gonna return that, and then we're going on the hike. Daily Walmart run. Oh, I forgot the things that I needed to return. Uh, that's the second time today. <laughs> when we were leaving the house, I forgot like the bag that I needed to return and I had to go all the way back in and then I just forgot it again. Yeah, because usually we just go and I never have to return anything. So how would I remember that? Ooh, got it. It's going now. So I really want to get the Australian gold tinted sunscreen, I think it's called, but I've looked in literally every store and I don't even know if they sell it in Canada anymore. So I might have to try and find that online soon night because i haven't found it in literally any stores if you guys use that sunscreen let me know and tell me where to find it you guys have to be proud of me that was the first time that i ever been to walmart that i actually gained money and didn't spend any i think i deserve a round of applause thank you thank you thank you that will never probably happen again so we got to cherish this valuable moment that i walked into walmart and made money it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful life see you Hey you guys, so it is currently it's currently 6.50 and it's literally like the sun is just setting right now. It's kind of a beautiful sunset. Usually wouldn't be like this bright out at this time, so it's like really weird and it feels a lot earlier than it is. But we're just waiting until my brother and his girlfriend gets home so that we can watch The Bachelor. We're gonna order food because tonight's the finale, so we're really excited. Um, so that's gonna be really fun. It's just like really random, but do you guys ever get in like those moods or not the moods? But like sometimes you're just sitting there and you kind of feel lucid and you're like feels like i'm in a dream right now Life doesn't feel real right now Like I don't know why but this happens to me kind of often where it's at the randomest times But i'll just feel like i'm in a dream and then i'll be like is this real and it's so Weird and I don't know if this just happens to me Sometimes I can't even differentiate like real life and a dream Like sometimes i'll have a really vivid dream and then i'll be like I don't even know if that actually happened or it didn't I don't know. I don't know shit is weird but but let me know if that happens to any of you guys because I had that like yesterday and I was just eating dinner and I'm like, I feel like I'm in a dream right now. I don't know if that's normal. But anyways, I'm probably gonna pick up the camera next when we start watching The Bachelor. I just had to pick up the camera again and state my opinion. I just wanted to say, that I just hate thongs. Like, they are so uncomfortable. I had to put one on because I was wearing leggings and I need to change out of it, like, right now. I don't get how people can sleep in them. I don't get how people think that they're comfortable. I just literally don't get it. Like, they are so uncomfortable. They ride up your ass. They literally scratch you. I can barely wear one for an hour, okay? Like, it's just painful to me. I love granny panties. <laughs> like, <gasps> If I just use one underwear to live in, it's granny panties. Like, there's no other way for me. It's granny panties or nothing. I, for other people's sake, will put on a thong if I'm wearing, like, leggings or something. But when I'm wearing anything else, like, even sweatpants, I'm putting on granny panties. Like, I'm not even joking you. I sleep in them. They're just... Oh my gosh, nothing is more comfortable than having a good pair of granny panties on. And then I have those friends that are like, thongs are so comfortable. Like, I sleep in them. Are you psycho? Are you psycho? I don't know, okay? Leave your thoughts down below. I want to know if I'm alone on this. I just, I need to know. Also, this might be another TMI, but I didn't shave my legs for like three months. I was just insulating for the winter and I just shaved my legs yesterday. And oh my goodness gracious, I'm like a new person. I'm like a new woman. I was like, you know what? It's my birthday week. I have to be somewhat, you know, decently prepared for the occasions that are to arrive. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to shave my legs. I'm going to remove my insulation. My legs are so soft. I haven't felt them this soft in so long. She feels good. But yeah, I just have to put that out there that you're welcome for the information. <laughs> the sun is so pretty. Hello. 
Hello you guys, so it is currently 10.40 and it is 10 minutes past my bedtime because I usually go to bed at like 10.30, maybe even like 10 to 10.30 because The Bachelor was just like super long today. But yeah, so we just finished watching The Bachelor, we had some pizza and it just like clicked in that tomorrow is my last day of being 20, which is so weird. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not that weird because I feel like the jump from 19 to 20 is bigger than 20 to 21 because it's just like your early 20s you know what i mean it's not really that big of a deal but it's just my last day being 20 tomorrow so it's i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna make it a fun day <laughs> so this march from last march literally feels like one day but then it feels like 20 years at the same time like it feels like it was just my birthday and now it's my birthday again i don't even know it's just like weird and concerning but another year i'm not gonna get too emotional about it i'm gonna end the video off here i love you guys so much I'll be vlogging on my birthday so that vlog will be coming out obviously after this one so i'm excited thank you for all your sweet comments and everything i appreciate you guys so so much i hope you guys have a great morning day evening or you know whatever time zone is right now peace out i can be your hero baby i can't kiss your lips baby.